gathered here today on Aboriginal land, the land of the Gadigal people, land that was never ceded, land that has been stolen. This is Aboriginal land. And I would like to acknowledge and pay my respects to elders past and present, to warriors past and present. And I don't mean to say this simply as a formality. Because I have in mind right now the epic struggle of the Aboriginal people for justice in their own country. Because I'm thinking of these two words, immoral and unnatural. Two ugly words that were spat out of the mouth of arch bigot Fred Nile a long time ago and largely underlie the ongoing campaign of conservative hysteria and bigotry that was expressed so clearly last week when the Australian Christian lobby made its ugly statement that somehow the introduction of equal marriage rights brought with it the danger that would, there would be a new stolen generation. How despicable, how unchristian, an insult, an insult to the Aboriginal people, an insult to the stolen generations, an insult to the victims of this unequal discriminatory regime that is unequal marriage that we have in this country, a triple insult. We're in this country there is no problem for us to identify some things, some policies, some policies of government that are truly immoral and unnatural. I have in mind that never closing gap between Aboriginal people and non-Aboriginal people. 11.5 11.5 years difference in life expectancy for male Aborigines. 9.7 years gap for female Aboriginal people. I'm thinking about the 15 times ligator likelihood that an Aboriginal person will be imprisoned than anyone else in this community. Is this immoral and unnatural, I ask you? Yay. It is. Right. I'm thinking of another area which of government policy which is chock-a-block with immoral and unnatural policies, refugee rights. The idea of sending desperate people who come to these shores back home, lock them up in Nauru, in concentration camps, in Manus Island, in Christmas Island. Is that immoral and unnatural policy? Yes! I'm asking you about the fact that Australia, after 15 other countries have recognised equal marriage rights, is still waiting. We are still waiting. Why are we waiting? Is that immoral and unnatural? Yes! Yes! And what about the human toll of this delay? The human toll in the form of greater amounts of use suicides that are taking place because of the stigmatisation of people who do not conform to what is considered to be an acceptable relationship in this country. What about that? Is that immoral and uh, unnatural? Yes! Yes! Now, okay, friends, I think you have all passed the test. You have a good moral compass. Yes! You have a good social conscience. But unfortunately, the same cannot be said of the people who run our government. They don't seem to be able to recognise when there actually is something that is unnatural and immoral going on. And now we are told to, that the Labour government, you know, has to allow its MPs to vote according to their individual consciences on this question. But what a joke! I mean, the very existence of those consciences is in severe doubt. It is highly debatable considered all, considering all those other unnatural and immoral policies that they're implementing right now. It's time to stop all the bullshit. If the Labour Party has a policy of supporting equal marriage rights, it should vote on block. If they did so, we could have equal marriage rights in this country next month. It's very simple. All Julia Gillard has to do is call the troops together on June 6th and vote on block for, for, for the Greens bill that when it comes up and it will get through. 
And even if uh, Tony Abbott wins the next election and comes in, do you think he will have the guts to reverse such a law? But of course, June 6, we'll soon find out if our Prime Minister and her party have got the guts and the principles to do the right thing. We'll see on that day what they will do. And if they don't, and if they don't, we will be back here again. And I pledge our support on behalf of the Socialist Alliance and all the activists. We will be back again and again and again until such time as the government of this country has the guts and the principle to say, I do to equal marriage rights. Yeah.